The city of Clinton is looking to alleviate flooding in some of the hard, uh, hardest hit areas in the town. A two-phase stormwater project will replace culverts near South 9th Street and pipes around the Glen Ridge neighborhood. Each phase will cost approximately $168,000. Zeke Torres has more. Zeke. Well, Mike, this project has been needed in the city for quite some time, but financing has been a roadblock for officials. But thanks to a grant from the Office of Community and Rural Affairs, or ORCA, construction is expected to start in the next two weeks. On a rainy day in Clinton, my yard sometimes fills with water. This ditch definitely overflows. Flooding creates challenges for some neighborhoods near South 9th Street and Sportland Park. Sometimes you have problems getting in and out of your driveway and stuff, and obviously mud. For Christy Carpenter, an overflowing yard is anything but uncommon. She favors improvements to the stormwater system. It just, it's something that needs to be fixed because if not, number one, you pay higher insurance for your homeowner's insurance because you have to have flood insurance on top of your homeowner's, and that's very expensive. Phase one of the stormwater project will replace current culverts. The city will dig up and repatch pavement. Traffic delays or detours will be temporary. Mayor Jack Guilfoy adds the work should prevent future flooding hazards in the area. It would be a great thing for us to get down because, like I said, when it does flood, the people, they can't get through down there. We have to block the road, then they have to go over to 8th Street to get around, so it's going to help greatly. With those. Pipes will be replaced during Phase 2 on the north side of Clinton. It aims at stopping flooding in city streets and in residence yards. Construction will happen on the utility right away. I don't know that you're ever going to get away from flooding completely, you know, but if we can alleviate the flooding widespread and if we can eliminate the amount of time it takes for the water to recede, that's what we're looking to do. Now, the project is great news for Carpenter and city officials, all hoping to prevent future flooding in different neighborhoods. The project should take three to four weeks to complete. Mike. All right, thank you.